Hello, hello everyone. It's Marcia again with Ben and There. I just wanted to quickly hop on and show you what I picked up at our local um, Monster Garage sale this last um, Saturday. And um, yeah, it's just an annual one that I go to each year. There are a couple of vendors there that I really um, make a point of visiting. And I picked up some great stuff as well as a few other things from other people. Um, so I'm just going to show you real quick. I'm get it all out of the bag. <clears throat> so right off, I just picked up a couple of stamps. They were for a dollar each. This one is a uh, Stampa Barbara um, brand. It's just this palm in a, a vase there. thought that would be kind of interesting. And this one is just a clock face with no hands. I figured that would make a great background stamp. Um, those were each a dollar. I picked those up for a quarter or 50. Actually, she didn't end up charging me for this. Um, just a bunch of recipe cards. They look like they're probably vintage. I don't know how old, but they're not all the same. I don't think. Yeah, there's a couple different patterns. Let me just see real quick. Oh, there's several patterns. I really liked these specifically for spring coming up. Any others? So just three different patterns, but there's quite a few there. And I can definitely use those in journals. They make great um, journaling cards and can also be used as recipe cards, obviously. Okay. Um, we'll do that later. We'll do the paper stuff first. <laughs> so I picked up several postcards. I love my vintage postcards and some cabinet cards. So just real quick, um, this one I believe is an advert, no it's a postcard, um, it's two children on the beach, a cabinet card, handsome young man, and this woman here, yep. Okay, my camera cut out so I'm going to try to start where I ended. Um, this here is a beautiful, this one's not a postcard, it is an advertising card for coffee. It has this beautiful image of um, a night scene with the moon and a bird. These are um, more uh, floral. I'm working on some spring journals right now, and I wanted some floral postcards to put in there, and I really like these. Some of them have dates, but not all of them, I can tell you. This one, I believe, says 1915. This one doesn't have a date. I like this, these blue flowers. Um, 1911, it looks like. Happy birthday, and no date on that one. So I picked up postcards and those pictures. I got some alphabetical index cards. I love using these for journal cards. Alter them. And also, um, they work for, like, writing boards in, um, what are those called? Traveler's Notebooks, because they're a good size for that. A couple of envelopes, just some vintage empty envelopes. I thought this one was cool because it was from Japan. I don't know. thought that was pretty interesting. It has some Japanese stamps on here. I don't know. A year. No idea. It doesn't really matter that much. I just thought it was cool. This also appears to be foreign. Oh, India. Yep. And it says by sea up there. I just thought that was cool. Then I picked up a couple of um, Ideal magazines. I really like the images. I like using the images in these. This one's an autumn one. That has some pretty, pretty scenery in it, which is always fun to use. This one is, let's see, okay, it's in Roman numerals, but it says, I believe, 1974. I could be wrong about that, but I think that's the year on that. This one is a Mother's Day. I really love these images right here. The, I would say it's... The pictures are 70s, but this looks like it's from the 80s. I don't even know. Let me see. <laughs> 1984. This picture reminds me of artwork from the 70s, though. Um, yeah, I could flip <laughs> through and show you some more. Lots of pretty florals. And 
mother daughter great mother daughter pictures love images from those um this is a like a ledger type book but it has very simple pages 1983 so it's not super old but I love the color all the all of the written pages have been taken out <laughs> which is kind of sad but I mean I guess since it's from the 80s they thought they were keeping someone's privacy pick that up for a quarter the ideals were only 50 cents each and then I got some um, interesting <laughs> these I may be keeping these for myself I'll just show you these real quick they're really cool like chandelier type that one's twisted they're kind of twisted up, but they're really cool, kind of gothic looking earrings. So, I don't know. We'll see if I wear those or not. They may be taken apart otherwise. So I picked up some things that I thought looked like they could be used for, like, African and Asian journals. These have, like, the... I could take it out of the bag, couldn't I? Maybe I'll see it a lot easier. This one is very... I think it was like a, oh, I suddenly can't think of the word, you know, where you weave the, <laughs> weave the cords together to make something out of it, or maybe it is supposed to be a necklace, but it has these, um, like coin pieces on it, Asian things. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but my washing machine is going, so it's making some noises. Um, just some interesting things to make some charms out of. This one, I want to make like an African themed journal. I love this little elephant thing here little carved elephant he's missing missing a tusk but he's pretty awesome looking i like him and then i found these these were a dollar for this bag i don't know what these were used for but there are a bunch of copper pieces of animals and coins but they all have this strange i don't know if they were stuck into something or what but they're all like Native American and nature themed I don't know what they were used for love that deer but they would be great just to take the wire off and just attach them to the front of a journal or even on a page they're flat quite flat not really textured got a covered wagon man riding a bull a bulldog that one is not flat that's very 3d some other coins. The lady selling them had no idea what they were previously from either, so <laughs> anyways, no biggie. I had to pick up this vintage key. It's very cute and unique. <clears throat> A giraffe brooch. It's going to go with the elephant. And like an African safari type journal. Another. This looks like the same things as this. This one was made into a brooch. I don't know. It was interesting. And I picked up these um, earrings. I don't know what. They're like the old um, screw-on kind of earrings, which is interesting. It tells me they're at least 70s, but they're quite um, um, heavy, so they're not... I don't believe they're resin or acrylic. I believe they're stone. They're like a carved stone. They look as though they had some sort of metal backing on them at one point. It has these flowers carved in it. I don't know, but I thought they were really cool. They look good on the front of a journal or made into a charm. So that's everything that I picked up this weekend. I hope you enjoyed that. Give you some ideas of what to keep an eye out for. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.